All right, I believe this is the problem that you mentioned uh, in your question that you're having difficulties. Uh, reading the problem, I noticed there are 75 flyers. One uh, Last week, uh, Linda posted one third of them. So let me do this part first, okay? Let me underline this in red. I'm gonna do this part first because this is a problem that involves four steps, okay? Now, she posted one third of them. When they say one third of them, they're referring them, they're referring to the 75 flyers you have here, okay? So, you have to imagine the following. Imagine this uh, rectangle is the 75 flyers. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide uh, the 75 flyers, I'm gonna split it in three groups. Now, why three groups? Because it's one-third, and the denominator is three. So that means I'm going to make three equal groups with 75 flyers. If, um, if I'm going to make three equal groups with 75 flyers, it means that uh, I'm going to have 25 flyers in each group and each of these groups is really means one third of the whole group okay so that's what each of these uh, parts represents so it says here that Linda posted one third of them it means that she posted 25 flyers last week now if she had 75 flyers and she already posted 25 of them how many still not posted so again oops wrong color here so again this is how many flyers she posted how many flyers she has not posted well I hope you agree with me that it will be these two slices with 25 so these are the ones that are not posted yet so we're talking about 50 flyers, okay? So 25 were posted, that's one third of them, and 50 are not posted. So we need to post those 50. Now, now that I know how many are not posted, I can keep reading the part here that says this week, she posted one fifth of the remaining. So here, here we go again, I'm going to underline this here, it says one-fifth of the remaining flyers. Now how many flyers were not posted? 50. That means that these are the ones that are remaining. So again, if I'm going to do one-fifth of the remaining, it means that you have to visualize this like a rectangle. And this rectangle, I'm going to divide it in five equal groups. So I'm going to take these 50 flyers and I'm going to make five groups five equal groups I should say so let me put here the bars so you can see more or less what I'm thinking okay so imagine each of these even though it didn't come out uh, let me do erase this here for a second I'm gonna have to extend this which is okay I can play with this tool here so it will be around okay so here and then somewhere around here, let me, okay, let me go extend it. Okay, so here we go. We have five equal groups. If I have 50 flyers, I'm going to split it in five equal groups. It means that I have uh, 10 flyers in each group because that will make the 50 that I had before. Now, how many I'm going to, uh, oh, not me, how many Linda posted out of the 50 that were left? She posted one-fifth, which means each of these slices here is really one-fifth. Each of these fly, each of these slices here is really one-fifth. So when they say one-fifth of them were posted, we're talking about one-fifth or 10 flyers were posted. Now, she had left 50. 10 were posted. Okay, these are the ones that were posted, the one that I shaded in yellow. So how many flyers still she has left, Linda has left? Well, it will be all of these slices here that I did not color in yellow, and that will make 40 slices. Uh, sorry, not slices, flyers, okay? So the answer here will be 40. 
Now, how do I do this in math way? Okay, I did it visually, so you have an idea how the problem is. Uh, you have a visualization of how the problems work out. Well, the three steps are the following. The word of here means times. So you're going to do here one third of, which means times, uh, 75. That's how many I started. When you multiply this, you get 25. That's how many were posted. But she started with 75. That means that 75 that she started, 25 that she posted, that means we have 50 left. Now, out of these 50 that were left, one fifth of these 50, see again, the word off means times, one fifth of these. 50 were posted which means that we she posted 10 flyers out of the 50 but if she started with 50 flyers and she posted 10 how many flyers are left 40 see this is the math way and you can see there are four steps one two three and four okay and I did it visually so you have an idea of what's going on in this problem all right, I hope this helps.